A good and blessed morning to you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. In the Gospel of today, we are presented with the two kinds of people who are sick. The first one is the man whose right hand is withered. He is evidently sick. As we hear, his right hand is withered. And one can imagine that as he is in the presence of Jesus, he is hoping, he is praying that Jesus would do something about his situation, that Jesus would help him. The second kind of people who are sick here are the scribes and the Pharisees. Their sickness is not evident. And it's either they also don't know that they are sick or they refuse that they are sick. The scribes and the Pharisees have withered minds. Jealousy towards Jesus has withered their minds. That they are not able to, to act with compassion, to act with mercy, especially when it comes to those who are suffering. You will know that when it comes to keeping the law, what God is asking for is mercy rather than sacrifice. So actually, with these two situations or these two kinds of people who are sick, the scribes and the Pharisees are very sick. They deserve to be in the ICU. And as they are before Jesus, these two kinds of people who are sick, Jesus presents before them an opportunity, an opportunity to get well, an opportunity to be well again. And it's only those who acknowledge their sickness who can be healed. The man with the withered hand gets the help. The scribes and the Pharisees, they don't get help because they don't believe that they are sick. So, in other words, they lose the opportunity to get well. In the Gospel of today, again, Jesus shows his authority over the law, particularly his authority over the Sabbath. He poses a question, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do harm, to save life or to destroy it? Then he goes on to heal the man with the withered hand. And the Pharisees continue suffering in their sickness with withered minds. One thing which is interesting is that this man has his right hand withered. You know, in, the normal, in a normal situation, we use our right hand. Between the two hands we have, in, the, in a normal situation, the right hand is the stronger one. The left is there to help. So in other ways, it means that this man could not, was not useful in the community, could not do things he ought to do, things he was expected to do. He was not of service to others. And when Jesus comes into the picture and when Jesus heals this man, in other ways, Jesus enables this man. Jesus gives back this man his usefulness. He saves this man from being useless to being useful. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, all of us have our sicknesses. There is something withered in each and every one of us. Do I know what is withered in me? It is only when I know what is withered in me that I can ask for help because Jesus stands before each and every one of us and is willing. He is willing to save life. 
He is willing to do good, even if it means breaking the law, even if it's on the Sabbath day. But are we able to acknowledge, to acknowledge our sickfulness so that Jesus can help us? Are we able to acknowledge our sickness so, so that Jesus can enable us? Let us pray. Let us pray that we may be aware of our shortcomings, that we may be aware of what is withered in me, so as to seek help from Jesus. And Jesus will not hesitate to help us, even if it means breaking the law. I pray that at the end of the day, because every day we have an opportunity to meet Jesus, that at the end of the day, we all may be well, and we all may be driven by the compassion which was driving Jesus. Whenever a human being is suffering, Jesus does not hesitate to do something. May we do something, but we can only do something if we have allowed him to help us heal our witheredness. Amen.